Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Block Party by Big Potato Games. Block Party is a two to six player game that takes roughly about 40 minutes or so and is for ages eight and up. And the game Block Party is all about building or kind of like utilizing blocks to create images. You are going to be drawing cards from a building card deck, selecting a word, and building it. You'll have a certain amount of time. Players will also be building as well, and one player will be the guesser. The guesser is going to try and guess what everybody's different type of building or construction is going to be. If they get it wrong, you'll have an opportunity to steal once around. And the player who guesses correctly and the player who builds and gets theirs guessed correctly will score a point. You'll be going along this track here up until everybody gets a chance to be the guesser, unless you're playing a three-player game in which case everybody gets to be the guesser twice and whoever is the highest points on the track by then is the winner. I'll talk about the setup, how to play of course, and my review. To begin the setup for the game Block Party, the first thing that you will do is you'll take out the game board from the box and place it on the highest score win side face up. Then each player is going to select a player mat. Each mat is going to have a color and each color will be represented by a block. Take that block's color and place it on the number one on the start track of the highest score win side. Then Shuffle the building cards. Shuffle the challenge cards. Deal one building card to each player, one steel token to each player, one player will randomly be the guesser, and the rest of the cubes will be set aside within reach of all players. After that, the game's ready to go. Yep, it's that simple. Playing the game is just as simple as setting it up. The player who is the guesser will be guessing for the round. They will draw a challenge card and read it out loud. This one here is Chaka Block. Use the most blocks. You have 45 seconds to complete this building challenge, and the player who uses the most can store, score a bonus point. Each player is then going to look at their building card that is not the guesser. They will choose one of the words that has not been chosen in a previous round, and then the guesser will start the timer. After 45 seconds of constructing with the blocks in the pool, and anybody can use any blocks, but they only can use one at a time. People can use their phones to look up a word to see what it looks like if they can't remember. And when the timer ends, the guesser will start to guess. Clockwise, the guesser will guess one word for each of the players. If they get the guess incorrect, any other player, other than of course the guesser, and of course the player that is being guessed, can flip over their steal token, and they will get a chance to guess if the guesser guessed incorrectly. Whoever guessed correctly will score a point. If no one guessed correctly, the guessers will get no points. If the player who built got somebody to guess theirs, they will score a point, but if nobody did, zero points. After the guesser has went around and guessed every player, or at least attempted to, and anybody has had a chance to steal, the round will end. Players will check to see if anybody completed the challenge by A, using the most blocks, or the fewest, or whatever it is the challenge card is, putting the card on the bottom of the deck, moving the guesser to the next player, and then once again beginning. Having each player have a card, look at their card, select one of the words, and then attempt to build based on the challenge card. 45 seconds, use the most colors. Or perhaps it's going to be the build the tallest objects in one minute. And that's the basic idea of the game. You'll be scoring points with this tracker around the game board, and after everybody's had a chance to go as the guesser, you'll score up and see who has the most points, and that player is the winner. Block Party is a Pictionary building game. In the game, there's going to be a wide variety of words on the card that you selected, and you can choose from anything between peacock, apple, bowling pin, a bone, a dragon, a sandcastle, a candle, a Canadian flag, snorkel, or even Fred Flintstone. And that's just on one singular card. And then you're going to get to building. Building is going to require you to use kind of an 8-bit method of building in a 2D plane, uh, and you're trying to create or make the most simplistic version that you need to with in the short amount of time that you have to create the image of the word that you've selected. You don't want to make it too overly complex because you might not finish within the time rate, but if you make it too simple, then players might not understand what you're trying to draw. Is it a dog, a goat, a llama? It might be very difficult for players to decide that way. This is a slightly artsy game where yes, you have to kind of construct something using blocks and the colors provided to you with the words available to you, but it does a very good job of kind of giving you the very basic types of words that can be represented with the colored blocks that you have here. Could you make a toothbrush? Yes, you could. Maybe you want to add toothpaste to it to make it more recognizable. How you decide to build it is really up to you. And you don't have to build in block formation. It doesn't have to be all set in a kind of a two by four grid or whatever. You can actually construct it in any way like you would draw with a pencil, but now you're just using blocks. 
This is a fun game. Block Party is a party game. It plays up to six players. It plays best with more players, but there's also a two player variant as well. You can take the a Block Party board and flip it over, and now you have a co-op game. In the co-op game, you'll have a space to start. Uh, that space is going to be a level. That level will have a time limit and a maximum number of cubes you can use. And then you're gonna have cards and you're going to build. And if people are guess getting their guesses correctly, you can move on. If not, then players can make guesses. They can use a one word hint up to three times in the game. And if you're able to guess correctly, you can move on. And there are 10 levels total. Every time you miss a word, you go down a life on the life track. And if you get to zero, you're out of the game. If you run out of hints, you can't use any more. And of course, the game gets more challenging as it progresses across the track here. Level two is one, one minute and only 15 cubes max per player, whereas level eight is 30 seconds and you can only use five cubes. That's a basic idea. It has some really cool conceptual stuff going in with it. Uh, the quality is, is great. This is probably one of my favorite games when it comes to quality next to like Chameleon for Big Potato games. All the blocks are easily recognizable. The colors are great choices. They're very, very straightforward and like easy to tell the difference between and you can use colors in a wide variety of ways. Additionally too, you're going to be able to build on this, this area here, this grid, and there's quite enough area to do so. You can tell the difference between your colors and other players and it does a great job of integrating these colors with the blocks you'll be building with, the player board, and your color represented on the game board for scoring. Uh, the steel function is really cool as well. If somebody's just not really good at guessing, you have that opportunity to kind of steal from that player uh, and guess somebody else's image, which uh, you know and they don't. It has this kind of little like, uh, it's more than just the guesser being able to have that chance to guess. Everybody's kind of having an opportunity to guess during a round, and they're also having the opportunity to build other than just the guesser. And so you're consistently playing throughout the game. There's no player elimination, there's no aggressiveness to it. It's very light, it's very straightforward, and it's all based on how you want to create and use and manipulate these little cute blocks. And they give you quite a few of them. Now, with a larger player game, of course, colors are going to be restricted, but you're only going to be building smaller things anyway, so it's normally not going to be an issue. And additionally, because I'm a gamer, I have tons of these cubes that I can just add to the game if I want to increase the color variety for whatever purpose. Uh, you're never gonna run out of cards, even though this deck seems very small. There is a boatload of words on here, and the only rule is you can't use the same word once in in, in the same uh, like the same game. So if somebody's already chosen one of the words, just move on. There's hundreds of words anyways, so I wouldn't really have to worry about it. Colorful, vibrant, great quality, fun little game. This is a great family game. Block Party, I strongly recommend. I'm keeping this game. This is gonna stay in my game collection for a long time. My kids, if I have kids, are going to be playing this game with me. I'll play with my nieces and nephews. It's a simple, straightforward win all together. It's basically just like a high quality, cool looking Pictionary that has a building aspect to it. I love it. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Block Party. If you're interested in picking up the game, there's a link down below in the description. You can find it on Big Potato Games and most likely Amazon as well, you can look down below. If you'd like, you can also, if you think we've earned it, hit that subscribe button, the subscribe button, the bell notification button, and all that good stuff. And if you really want, you can watch us play games just like this one every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. And on Wednesdays, we have a stream where we sell games, we talk about games, we play games on whatnot at 6.30 p.m. every other Wednesday. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to building some blocks at the block party with you next time.